Hello, welcome to Dartmoor in southwest Victoria. I'm Bo and I'll be your tour guide. Dartmoor was settled in the late 1850s, known as Woodford Inn. Until recently, timber processing was the main industry. There's a fascinating aspect to Dartmoor that few other towns possess. The Dartmoor Wood Sculptures. Sixty Atlantic cedar trees were originally planted in 1918 along Dartmoor's Avenue of Honour, commemorating 60 World War I servicemen and nurses from Dartmoor. In 1993, the trees were identified as unhealthy and unsafe. So instead of replacing the dead trees, the people of Dartmoor decided to recycle the trees. The trees were lopped in preparation for the carvings, and chainsaw artist Kevin Gilders was commissioned to reveal what he could create. In late 2000, the first three sculptures were completed, and by 2003 there were nine sculptures in all. And now, I'd like to introduce you to the sculptures. Sad news. Telegrams notifying deaths were sent to local clergymen so they could break the desolate news to families. At arms, Australian soldiers were respected for their courage and they had an undeniable bond of respect for each other. The boy at war. It was common for young men, in other words boys, to put up their age to go to war. Three services. Men from the local area served in all three services. The Army, the Navy and the fledgling Air Force. Over the top signifies a digger climbing from the trench. Rest in peace, paying tribute to those who made the ultimate sacrifice. The Parting. Some men were farewelled by a wife and children. Others were held by their parents, perhaps for the last time. The game. This game is two up. The phrase the game was also the soldier's euphemism for the war. And just as luck determined to win at two up, so did it often determine survival on the battlefield. The nurse. Nurses were beacons of hope and comfort for the wounded. Sister Rachel Pratt won a military medal which is displayed at the Australian War Memorial in Canberra. How have the sculptures impacted on the community? Well, Bo, the sculptures have created enormous tourist interest, as you can imagine, and we find now that we have a um, considerable number of tourists visiting Dartmoor on a daily basis. Uh, when the streetscape was opened, people from across the Australia, and even further, acknowledged the fact of the brilliance that Kevin had created in the streetscape. So that brings a lot of tourism? Yes. Yes, a lot of tourists. A lot of tourists are cool, because living opposite down there where it is, we see them all the time. How was the community taken to the sculptures? Yeah. Uh, very well, I'd say, yes. Very, they've taken to them very well, yeah. When we originally planned to do the, the sculptures and cut the memorial trees down, a lot of research was carried out and a lot of contact was made with as many family members as possible to make sure that there was no problem with people as far as having the trees cut down. So everyone was happy before we even started. So it's been well accepted by the community in general and the people connected with the service men and women that the trees were planted for. What sort of maintenance do they require? They require a lot of maintenance and in the initial stages we had a lot of trouble with the sealer that we used. It, it um, grew a sort of mould so we had to strip it down again and we now use a water-based decking oil that we coat them with and that's virtually an annual procedure that we have to do. Um, we are having a little bit of trouble with rot so at the moment they're about to go undergo some considerable maintenance with fibreglassing to in an endeavour to keep the moisture out of the trees so hopefully that will solve that problem. As well as the Avenue of Honour, there are also sculptures on Dartmoor's village green. The nursery rhyme tree was originally meant to be a few faces but as Kevin progressed he could see more and more. So we were fortunate to be able to receive extra funding that allowed us to e expand on that project. How much funding does each sculpture require? Um, Memorial Streetscape. Um, the funding for those trees would average about three to four thousand dollars, and that's realising that that's a few years ago. So possibly even more now. The sculptures are something not to be missed. Why don't you go and discover them as well? Couldn't have said it better myself, Bo.